Hey, what's up Reefers? For those of you who are going to Reef Palooza at Orlando this weekend, have fun, I'm super jealous. I will be going to the one in New York in late June, so if you're going there, let's meet up. Speaking of events, originally I could not make it to Magna this year and I was really sad about it because I'll be at Bird Island of Belize, but the date got pushed back, so I may actually be able to make it to Magna as well. So I'm super excited about it and I hope to see a lot of you guys there as well. I also need to give a shout out to other Reefers doing a lot of live stream recently. For example, we got CJ's uh, Reef Shack, we got Rico's Reef Talk, we got Mad Dog Kevin, they're all starting the live stream, and this is great. When I do work, I like to zone out, and I like to listen to just people talk, it's kind of weird, right? And what better way than just sitting in a live stream and just kind of listen to people talk shop or just shooting shit. Yeah, so once in a while, I'd be just like, yo, inappropriate reefer, are you there? I'm gonna be like, yo. <laughs> but thank you for making the day pass quicker for me. Another really cool thing this week is that my issue of Coral Magazine finally arrived. Uh, this issue they're talking about Reefscape, which is something I'm really interested in. And they actually showed a lot of great example and diverse example, as well as great tips in terms of like, uh, how do you best lay out your tank, as well as uh, color for corals. How do you like uh, put uh, complementary color of coral next to each other to make the color pop a little bit more. Overall, this magazine have like really good content. And to be honest, it is hit or miss, but for the most part, it has been a hit. All right, let's go on to the tank update. I have been struggling with the 45 gallon tank recently. Let me tell you about my two challenges first before I move on to happier news. The first challenge was the front left portion. Aesthetically, the front left side was a mess and I just could not get it to look right with all the things I tried to jam into that spot. Ultimately, I decided to move some of the corals that don't look right in the space to the drop off tank and I am really liking the clean look a lot better. So I guess less is more, right? But I will continue to tweak this spot as we go along. The second challenge are these green chromas. In my last video, I told you that I added three green chromas from the House of Tropical visit. They seem to be doing well for the first three days and then they all dropped really quickly as infighting began. In the process, I actually saw one got bullied and chased into the elegance coral's tentacles where it got stung and just became coral food. It was bad. And the next day, I saw my emerald crab munching on the last chromis and I was ready to throw in the towel. Uh, that was until I talked to an employee from Petco. You notice I actually go to Petco a lot, mainly for my dog. But uh, I, was I was convinced to give green chromis one last try. So I moved the elegance coral and ammo crafted some for the first few days until the chromas were more established. Things seem to be going well with these Petco green chromas, so I reintroduced the elegance coral, hoping that the chromas have all familiarized themselves with the tank's layout. We will see how this group does. And so far I have not lost a single fish from Petco, and my group of 6 chromas in drop off tank is still doing fantastic, knock on wood. So I got my fingers crossed that this small group will be the same. In happier news, as I was shuffling corals between this tank and the drop off tank, I was pleasantly surprised that the gold torch that looked green under the ONF light actually looks gold under the radion, so it is staying in this tank. Some of the zoas have really increased in size. Does anybody know what it means when SOA gets larger? Is it an indicator of health or are they increasing surface area due to the lack of light? Uh, if you have any guess or any idea, please let me know. Speaking of ZOAs, the Sunny D has really taken off in this tank. I created two frags that were being crowded by the Space Invader, and once they healed, I plan to add them to the drop off tank's SOA garden. And as I'm getting more comfortable fragging my corals, you will probably start seeing more frags coming out of this tank. The Mandipora cap continues to grow and scroll at a fast rate. I really want to control the colony's height because I think their top looks much better than their side. So I may need to start fragging the colony back soon. Let me know if you want some frags. The two bubble tip anemones are doing well, actually three. 
I am hoping that the rose bubble tip anemone does not split and it will just continue to grow larger. But the one I got is a splitter, so I would not be surprised if it decided to start splitting again. The orange bubble tip anemone continues to color up. I remember it did not have the green base when I first got it, so I wonder if it would continue to color up until the entire body is orange again. That would be awesome. A few of you asked what happened to the blue tang. The blue tang actually went home to a fellow WAMAS member who has a 100 gallon tank with a 300 gallon tank build in progress. I think it's like the perfect home for the blue tang. And a video about the capture and transplant of this blue tang will be coming soon. I do miss that guy. Overall, this 45 gallon tank has been stable. Besides the last batch of green chromis, everything seems to be growing well. I am thinking about building a custom canopy for this tank in order to, to add T5 bulbs as supplement. But as I look at how scratched up the glass are on this tank, I think a tank upgrade will be happening later this year. So I may just hold off upgrading any equipment. We will see. Alright guys, this will do it for this update. See you again real soon. And if you are not following me on Instagram, be sure to add Inappropriate Reefer. I add a lot of content on there that I usually do not cover um, in my vlogs, so hopefully you will enjoy it as well. See you guys next time.